Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV, powered by Stage Front VIP, with the one and only, the Blue Nose, Adam Blue Nose Lopez. What's up, brother? How you doing? What's up, man? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing well. We're here ahead of Haney Lomachenko. You're getting ready to take on Oscar Valdez for the second time, man. First fight, candidate for fight of the year, fight of the year on a lot of people's list, man. One of the best fights that probably a lot of boxing fans have, have seen. And if you haven't seen it, you need to go watch it before you watch the second installment. Mm -hmm. Tell us how excited you are about the opportunity to get another crack at Valdez. It's a blessing, man. Not everybody gets a second opportunity. So for me to get this second shot on this big stage here in Vegas, it's, it's truly a blessing, man. And I've worked so hard for this fight. I, this is the hardest I've worked for any type of fight because I know how big this opportunity is. So I'm very excited to show y'all what I got cooking for Saturday. And you and I uh, talk on social media. We've been talking for a couple years, man. And, you know, after hitting a little roadblock, you've been on a bit of a streak. You've been kind of, how have you reinvented yourself? I dare to say that because I know it sounds cliche, man, but it seems like you've reinvented yourself. Talk to us about your coming out the second time around. You know, um, I'm, I'm learning. You know, I'm still learning. I, I'm never going to stop learning. That, that's the type of game this is. You could always get better. There's always improvements you can make. Um, after my last fight, I did lose my last fight. I split ways with my coach, and I now, I'm now training with Coach Eric Brown. So he's been in the game for a minute. Not a lot of people know him, and the people who don't, do know him understand that he's one of them old school coaches where if you ain't on your P's and Q's, you're going to get smacked that day. And he smacked me a couple times. When we first started training, it let me know who's boss. Um, but he's such a great coach. Psychologically, he really gets in your head. He really makes you believe in yourself and in what you're doing in the ring. And he prepares you for everything and anything. So I'm very excited. But this is definitely going to be a new Adam Lopez Saturday night. And again, yes, dropping the last fight of yours but again you're never in a boring fight and never out of a fight always in a fight always a chance to win decisions come and go how they do um talk to us about when you heard about the opportunity to fight oscar valdez again and what the emotions were yeah like i said not everybody gets their second opportunity so this is my second chance to get back on that big stage well this is a big stage but to get my name back in the rankings um i lost my last fight so i wasn't expecting this type of comeback for a fight you know, uh, my contract had just ended with top rank after my last fight. So I was like, all right, we're going to split ways. I got to go find out what I'm going to do. So I started reaching out to different promoters and seeing what I could do, you know, because I'm not going to quit just because someone writes me off. But they gave me the opportunity, and you, you don't get a better chance than, than this fight on this big stage. You know, winning and beating Oscar is going to put me right back in the rankings and in line for a title shot. So it's a huge blessing. You dropped the first bout against Valdez, uh, as we all do know. Um, what changes do you think that you have to make without giving up the game plan uh, to carry the night versus Valdez the second go around? You know, I'm not changing it up too much, just sharper. A lot sharper, a lot more confident, um, a lot more experience in there. You know, I'm, when I fought him the first time, I was 23 years old with 14 fights. I'm 27 with 21 fights now. And I've been in there with some of the best in the world since I fought Oscar. So I'm taking everything, every fight, I learned something new. I learned something new about myself. I learned something new about boxing. I learned, I'm just constantly trying to learn from everybody around me. Um, you know, I'm going to bring all that to Saturday. I'm going to show everything that I got. Uh, it's just, a, it's going to be a different story. You know, I got so much more experience. I'm, I'm a grown man now. He's not fighting a young kid who barely had two 10 round fights under him. This is me at my prime. So he's going to get the best Adam Lopez Saturday. And with him facing the best Adam Lopez on Saturday, what will the results be? We're going to win this fight. We're going to win this fight. Look at this. I already put money on myself, man. He's that. broken out. He's broken out a bet. I Adam Lopez. Myself, man. I'm plus 600, and I found that a little disrespectful. But, hey, we, we all making money this weekend. Everybody. We all making money. You put money on me, I promise you going to bring it home. There it is, folks. Adam Lopez betting on himself. But before I let you go, big fight. Lomachenko's an underdog. Yeah. Fellow underdog, Lomachenko. Talk to us about Devin Haney, Lomachenko, and what you think the keys to victory are for both guys, starting with Lomachenko. You know, uh, Lomachenko is a tremendous fighter. I'm a huge Lomachenko fan. I'm going for Lomachenko, but I know he's, he's in tough with Haney. 
Um, Lomachenko got to get past that that jab that Haney got. You know, we all know Devin Haney got probably one of the best jabs in boxing. Um, he's a bigger, he's younger, he might be a little bit faster, but Lomachenko got the experience that I don't think Haney got. Um, you know, Haney's not going to show him nothing he hasn't seen before, you know. So I'm going for Loma. He got to get inside. He got to get past that jab. He got to let them hands go. Um, and we all know he could do it. He could do it. He could definitely do it. But, um, you know, everyone's questioning because he's a little bit older now. He didn't look too good his last fight. But he understands how big this opportunity is, and he was the former king at this division. So I think he got what it takes, but it's definitely a tough one for him. Uh, Haney, he's, you know, he's, he's got that jab. He's got to keep it working. He's got to run him into shots. He's got to make a statement in this fight. You know, he really got to make a statement because he's winning these fights, but they're, they're a little close. They're, sometimes some people say they're boring. Um, so he's really got to put out an exciting fight and beat Lomachenko hands down. But it's a 50-50 fight, but I'm, I'm going for Loma. I've always been a Lomachenko fan since I was a kid, so it's a blessing to be on his undercard. Well, there you have it, folks. Blue Nose Lopez, the opinion of a pro. Speaking of Blue Nose, he'll be off the chain this weekend versus Oscar Valdez. Good luck, man. We look forward to seeing you after the fight, bro. Take Thank care. You, Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.